Hello everybody, welcome to day two of the Python Vlogmas tutorial session, where we look at just quick tidbits in Python, which will be very useful. They're quite simple to do, but then they're also very um, useful items that you would need as a programmer. And so we're looking at today how to swap variables without necessarily creating another temporary variable to be more like a storage term before you swap. Now in other programming languages, what you do when you want to swap the content of two separate variables, you want to interchange them is to create a temporary variable to store one while you shift and then you repass it back to the other. And so in this case, what we'll do is let's define two main variables. Let's say A is 10 and then B is 20. So if I run this, now we can check our input for A, which is 10, input for B, which is 20. And all we want to do is to swap A and B. We want B to be 10, rather, and then A to be 20. So all we need to do is to just have, <clears throat> sorry, all we need to do is to just have A to be equated to B. So sort of A and then B to be equated to B and A. And what we are doing in this line is just saying that the first entry should be always the variables on the left. So you're saying the first variable on the left should be equated to the value of the first, um, the value of the first entry, which is a B. Then the next variable should be equated to the value of the second entry, which is A. So if we run this, it easily swaps our entries for us. So now if we type in A, you have the value 20, even though originally A was 10. Then when we type in B, find B to be 10. Okay, and so that's how we simply swap variables. We don't need a temporary variable to store. Like I said, in other programming languages, you'd have needed to create maybe uh, another variable, say C, and then you pass A to C and then pass the B back to A before you pass the C to B. But then this is quite easy to do in Python. So with just a one-liner, a one -liner, you do that in Python. Then also, let's say you now want to rather serve your entries. In this case, um, unlike what we did in the first part, A being 10 and then B being 20, um, let's say you want to assign your entries directly on one line. Okay, You don't need to always put them on two separate lines. All you need to do, one approach is to separate the line one and the line two by a semicolon. That's one approach. The other alternative is to, sorry, The other alternative is to, just as with it in this case, just define your entry. So let's say A and then B, and then we give values, we pass values to them, let's say 25 and then 35. What this means is that 25 is assigned to A and then 35 is assigned to B. And so once we assign them, we see A, 25, B, 35. And then we can still use the line 11 to swap so if we run this, we'll have swap variables. Okay. Okay. Then in other cases too, maybe you want to assign. So we are doing two main things, assignments and then also swapping. So we would maintain our line 13. Now let's say I want to pass multiple entries. Okay. And you just want the first one to be assigned to A and then the remaining to be assigned to B. All we need to do is to just make it A comma and then star B. So it means A will be assigned the first value 25 and then B will be created as a list of all the other entries. And so in the same case, if we want to swap, we just do A, B to be B, A, and then it swaps the entries. So now A would rather be the list and then B will be the input 25. I hope you enjoyed this session. And if you did and you've not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that Whenever there's any new video, you'd find it and you'll be able to follow through in the Python course and you would help yourself to become better in programming. Um, like I always say, there's always a bigger space up there for everybody. So I hope you would take opportunity, like you take hold of this opportunity and then you'd push yourself to the top. And do have a wonderful day. Leave your comments if you have any question and we'll address it in subsequent videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.